milk is an essential part of our diets. Children especially need milk to get the nutrients they need to grow, like calcium and vitamin D. But surprisingly, a growing number of parents are eliminating milk from their children's diets, sometimes supplementing it with alternative milk, like almond or cashew milk, and sometimes not replacing it at all. This is a bad idea, since milk holds key nutrients that help our bodies grow and keep our bones strong. Unlike calcium, vitamin D doesn't naturally occur in milk. The milk in your grocery store has been fortified with vitamin D, for reasons dating back to the 1900s. At the turn of the century, a childhood bone disorder called rickets was considered an epidemic. Rickets can lead to stunted growth and even skeletal deformities. At one point in Boston, nearly 80% of children suffered from rickets. Children can get rickets if they are deficient in vitamin D or calcium. Vitamin D is synthesized in our bodies when our skin takes in the sun, for example. Our bodies need vitamin D in order to be able to absorb calcium, which is why switching to a milk alternative, which has more calcium, but hardly any vitamin D, isn't helping the body process the calcium. Even foods that naturally deliver vitamin D, like cod liver and tuna or salmon, aren't enough to supply our weekly recommended amounts of vitamin D. This is why fortification of milk with vitamin D began in the 1930s, and it's still happening today.